Gemini and welcome to your reading for November the 6th through November the 12th and this is a general reading. I just like to, these readings are like weather forecasts, no future is set in stone so if something's said that you're not quite excited about it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to happen. It's just like, look, when somebody said there's chance of rain, right? You take your umbrella with you. This is a way to navigate through this, these energies, um, these readings show you. So if you would like a personal, more focused and individually tailored reading, um, the information will be in the description box below. Now, um, this is for your sun, moon and rising also. So uh, if you know your moon and rising, the links to the other videos will be below in the description box too. And please follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And that will be in the description box below. Now, um, thank you so much for the love last week. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and give me feedback. I'm very open to it and I always respond and share this video if you feel inspired and please subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's go to your cards with all that out of the way. Um, the first card that came up is the Nine of Wands, right? So the Nine of Wands is saying that you may need to stand up for yourself and, and you are on higher ground. This is saying that you do um, that you will come out on top, but sometimes, well, I'm looking at this, right, because you've got the Ace of Swords and um, underneath it, the Page of Swords, sorry. And the Page of Swords is a message. And I have a feeling, in fact, I kind of, I'm, this is for some of you guys, if you know, what resonates with you, take it. If it doesn't resonate with you, leave it and keep on moving. Um, I have a feeling that there's a situation and you have been told of somebody that's kind of saying not such nice things about you and trying to, um, somebody who's been very, saying negative things about you. And somebody's told you this and it's kind of, the way this is delivered is kind of, cutting it hurts right now the I, I I've pulled out six cards right and then I pull out the overall meaning and underlying sorry meaning of the of the the underlying energy of the reading and I've got the five of swords and that is saying that there's somebody saying something negative about you out there and you've heard it you've been told about it and you're being directed to stand up for yourself. Now, when this card comes up, the Five of Swords, it's not about uh, dealing with it um, confrontationally. This is about confronting the situation without being confrontational. And what's interesting is right next to this, where you stand up for your right, and you speak up for yourself. It's like you've got to speak up for yourself. You've got to defend your, <coughs> excuse me, you have to defend your reputation, right? And right next to that is the temperance card. So that's saying temper your emotions. You know, don't be quick to, because this is also a very passionate, fiery card. Um, this is intellect, right? And war. Uh, swords are very, you know, combative. So if somebody tells you about somebody who said something negative about you or who is lying about you or saying something that hurts your feelings, right? Or not just hurts your feelings, really gets your back up. It's important that you stand up for yourself. Don't back off, right? But also don't be combative. Um, so you need to address the situation diplomatically. It's very important. Now, the Four of Swords has come up, right? And this is someone who's, this is like you're tired. 
you know, and this kind of goes with the night. It's almost like, oh, do I have to defend this again, whatever it is? Do I have to really deal with this? I'm tired of standing up for myself. I'm tired of defending myself. You know, this could be, the, I have a feeling that this is at work. Now, this, if you're self-employed, it can be a client. It can be somebody else. Talk, I mean, you know, it could be an employee of a client. It could be, you know, it's something to do with, your work or career environment or you know if you're in school with you know other students I, you know I'm it's definitely something outside of the home so you're being asked um, for temperance right and so that's like balance you know you need to balance your emotions you need to handle this diplomatically go in and I listen it's so important to it's so important to meditate during this time now if you can go in like before you deal with this or handle it or confront this person then take three deep breaths because when you come in you might be all you know that kind of energy but when you take three deep breaths hold it at the top one two three four and slowly exhale through your mouth even one deep breath you open your eyes and you're in a different energy you're in an altered state so you can go in and you can address it in a very calm dispassionate way not dispassionate but you know not quick to rise you know be very calm and grounding when you go in um, now the Three of Pentacles has come up. This is definitely, a, uh, there's definitely a crossover here with several of the other readings. This has come up a few times. So the Three of Pentacles is about hard work, right? Just putting your nose to the groundstone. It can also mean learning something new, but I have a feeling that you just, it's like really put your attention on, and you put your attention on work and you are, go it's going to pay off for you. This is about just persevering, you know, really getting grossed and really engage in your profession, your work, your passion. Um, when you put all that focus on it and you work really hard, you will, this card indicates that you will get accolades for that. You'll be recognized. Your hard work and diligence will be recognized. Um, now, yes, definitely hard work, right? But we also have the Ten of Wands. Now, that's so funny that you've got the Nine of Wands, which is kind of coming to completion of something, but you've still got to stand up for yourself, right? The Ten of Wands is, you know, you're almost at the end, but you have taken on far too much Gemini. So I always say that this is like um, the people pleasing card. You, you're like, yes, yes, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, thinking that you may not get another job and then you can't, you can't come through 100% for them. So it kind of, you, you know, when this card comes up, it's saying, listen, you're, what you're doing by taking on all this work, right? Um, taking on too much responsibility. It's almost like a control too, right? So it's like martyrdom and control issues. It's like, no, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Martyrdom, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then, you know, control, you you, you don't trust anyone else um, to do this. You don't trust anyone else to do this. But unfortunately, when you do it, when you're trying to do everything, you know, you're more likely to drop the ball. So this is saying delegate. You've got to delegate. You've got to, listen, drop some of those responsibilities. You've got to ask for the help that you need. I get a lot of clients that say, you know, I do this, I do that. And I, and I say, do you ask for help? They should know they see me doing it. And I said, look, you don't understand. <laughs> 
People don't think like that. They can't read your mind. When you're doing a really good job and you're running around, they're like, oh, wow, she's really doing a good job. Or he's really doing a good, look at, he's working really hard. Wow. Wow, how proficient he is or she is, right? They're not thinking that you need help because you are so efficient and you're working really hard. So, you know, you have to ask for help. That's the bottom line. So sometimes we need to get humble and we need to ask for help. Um, so, you know, the page of swords is that, you know, you might get somebody coming in and telling you something that's, the way they deliver the message is kind of, oh, oh, you know, it doesn't feel good when somebody, you know, when the page of sword comes in, sometimes that message is delivered in a very kind of uh, harsh way but this is definitely the truth right this is the truth so stand your ground and and defend yourself defend your stand up for yourself that's what this is now standing up for yourself can be asking for help it can be as simple as that um but i do have a feeling that uh you you know because of this card and it being the underlying lining uh, energy of it that somebody is kind of doing something negative in the back ground and remember that you can't win this fight um, with a combative energy you won't win it so it's don't don't always come at it with uh, an air of diplomacy and fairness and uh, balance and definitely balance you've got temperance here temperance is you know, really balance your emotions. Don't be quick to anger. Okay, Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this reading helps you with the coming week and mwah, I love you all and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.